Hello and welcome to the TFO Technologies. In this video, I'll show you how to install Remnants Framework on a Windows 11 machine using a ZAM server. Okay, after this, there will be a series of tutorials on getting started with Laminar's framework so that you can understand how it works while building along enterprise applications. I'll introduce you to Laminar's in the first session. And then we will, be, we will build applications like Album, News Block, File Manager, etc. We also learn how to install applications on the Laminar's application on a production server like Windows, OpenBSD, Hostinger, and others. To get along, hit the button to subscribe, share, and let's get started. If you haven't installed XAMPP already, don't worry. Open your favorite browser and search for XAMPP. Go to the download section. Download the latest version. I have already downloaded mine and it's in my download folder. I'll double click to start the installation. Okay. Next. So these are the components that will be installed. You can uncheck the components you don't want, but I'm fine with all. Well, I want to install my ZAMP on my drive T. So I'm going to change this to D. Next. Next. And the setup begins. Well, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause this video and I'll come back when it is done. Okay, the installation is finished, so we can now start using our ZAMP server. Finish. Okay, so after successfully installing our ZAMP server, this is what we'll be doing to uh, get our laminars installed first you set the environment variables for php and then download and install git for windows download the laminar skeleton from this site and then you download the composite of file file and install laminar's framework with this command okay okay so before we set our environment variable for php we can check if PHP is working or not by using the shell, the ZAMP shell. If you click on the shell and it pops up and vanishes, then it means you don't have administrator rights. Let's open our ZAMP with administrator rights. Not administrator. Yes. Okay, so PHP V for version. Well, mine is working, but if yours isn't, just search for environment variables here. We want to edit the system environment variables. 
go to environment variables system variables path as you can see mine is set here but if yours isn't then just locate your php file uh, php folder which is mine is in zamp php and then just copy and then just copy this location and then come to new and then paste it here but as you can see mine is already here so i'll just ignore once you've pasted it then you click on ok and ok and ok if you test again and it doesn't work then you have to restart your pc okay so done with the environment variables let's now download our gate for windows so that we don't run into trouble when installing our laminars open your favorite browser down for download git git for windows download my file is downloaded i'll double click to start the installation I'm just accepting the defaults. Okay, finish. We will now go ahead and download the laminar skeleton from GitHub. On my browser, I'll search for Laminar Skeleton GitHub Go to code and download the zip Open it Copy this folder and paste it in your htdocs folder in XAMPP.
rename it to the name you want mine is with your cfo now i'll go ahead and download the composer file file which you'll be using for the installation Okay, so I'll be using the command line installation to download the file into my root directory. And because I want to download it to, into my root directory, and that is uh, the OCCFO directory, I will have to navigate or change directory to that directory, which will be cd at docs occa4 remember to uncomment the following lines in php.ini file go to zamp PHP search I use control F to search zip okay save okay so I'll copy these lines of code into the shell double cl triple click copy paste copy paste okay so our composer.far file is in is in downloaded this is the file now we can go ahead and install laminas with this code php composer dot file install So do you want a minimal install? No, you want a full installation. You don't want to bar. I don't want to install database support because I'm using doctrine. Okay. Forms, yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. yes. No. Okay, so one and yes.
1 and yes okay we have two more things to do first we have to edit our host file with the following lines and then edit our httpd vhost.conf file with the following lines of code let's open the vhost file in C Windows System 32 Drivers ETC and then Host So the first line will be, let me copy this. This should be my site name dot com. and then save yes launching administrator right okay so save now let me open my views file which is in my drive D Zamp Apache Conf Extra Vhost dot Conf Then I'll paste this year. So always remember to change this name to your site's name or your root directory's name. Save. We are done now and we will move on to our browser to test all that we have done. Before that, make sure you've started your ZAMP server. So, yes, OCCFO.com. Welcome to Laminar Services Skeleton Application. This is where the magic begins in 